It is so great for these little fucks to be back in school getting goddamn brainwashed to be clueless fucking morons. Good fucking God, where is it? Well, I guess it is past Labor Day, so it is now, where are we, Thursday, September 7th. All right, I got rid of the motherfuckers. I guess they're going to get a, uh, I guess the little darlings are going to get a goddamn pizza. I can't believe the school bus driver is actually letting people buy. Ah, oh, Jesus. Uh, you got spared a school bus rant, so I am, uh, I am racing my, uh, I'm racing the rain, the storm of the century back into bugs in a jar so I can get all my shit put away before the bottom falls out. But thank God we're getting ready to cool off here. Unbelievable. So I have my brand new better trailer on the back of this. On the back of this here truck. It's uh probably should have asked the guy how old the trailer was what year the trailer was now this is a uh, obviously a much nicer trailer than the tractor supply so the tractor supply trailer was going to but by the time I added the spare tire so it was eleven hundred dollars for a brand new you know, basically lowest common denominator trailer. Uh, and the two things I didn't like about it, it had these little 12 inch donut tires on it and it did not have a jack on the tongue. Uh, you know, that the, the jack and the little wheel on the tongue, which it was gonna be a major hassle and uh, so I found this one. The total drive out was $750. And uh, it's, you know, it's clearly the carriage, the undercarriage on it is better. It's rated at 2,500 pounds instead of 1,500 pounds. So it's got an extra 1,000 pounds on it. It has real tires real live tires, a real live spare on 14 inch rims and it has the uh, <clears throat> the jack and the wheel on the tongue. So it uh, so what did I save? It was $350 cheaper. Uh, it's a thousand pounds more I can carry on it. It's got real tires and a tongue jack and wheel. Uh, and I never thought to uh, ask him what year this thing was. And uh, so we do all of this, go to the bank, get his money, come back, and he brings out the title. It's a 1997. Uh, so this is a 26 year old trailer is my <laughs> is my trade off no warranty on the 26 year old trailer like I would have gotten at a at tractor supply so anyway I'm going with the 26 year old better built trailer it's made I think the maker is lone wolf lone wolf trailers from 1997 and then of course here's a brand new one right there at the uh, shed place anyway I'm sticking with it while I still can I highly advise you to get out there and buy a trailer to haul all of your shit from New York to Florida and back again while well, you still can. Oh, and this goddamn hauling shit. You know, this is for my gator. I'm taking my gator back to Florida. Alright, it looks like I'm out running the 
tornado here. It's a little bit of smoke in the air today. Not liking that. Hopefully this big wash will wash out the smoke. And Lord, Sancho Panza had his big adventure last night. I'm sorry I didn't get this on video. I had the damn camera sitting right here. This dog somehow managed to get his toe caught. Uh, it's too, it, 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 it's too uh, complicated of a story. This little fucking dog somehow managed to get his toe caught in something back behind the seat in the middle of Watkins Glen. We had this absolute meltdown freak out with this dog yesterday I was thinking I was heading to uh, the Cornell Emergency Veterinary Hospital to uh, spend seven hundred dollars to rescue this goddamn dog st stuck by his toe but fortunately Walmart came through eight dollars and ninety one cents at the uh, <laughs> Watkins Glen Walmart. I want to uh, send out a big thank you to Brother Eric for his kind help in the uh, rescuing Sancho, rescuing Sancho's toe and saving me $700 in the goddamn process. get my new trailer home I still got to move some tires around I got to rotate the tires around and a few other little tweaks but so far so good Florida here we come bringing a gator into Florida how many how many people bring gators to Florida and global industrial civilization is never over until it is. Bye guys.